The program I'll be doing is divide by 11. The point of the program is for the application to accept a positive integer as input and to see if the integer is divisible by 11. The algorithm right here will be very important to us when we're writing our code. And this is going to be the sample input and output we hope to get at the end when we finish. Now I'll be going back to co code blocks and C outing. A C I'm going to C out so I can ask the user to input a number. And then I'm gonna use this to make sure the user can input. And I'm going to name this input. I'll declare it up here as an integer. Not integer. Uh, I will do that as input. My spelling skills are not on point today. I'll, I think for this project I should use a float and I should use a float so then I can in the equation in the equation I'll need to use it to do the math and I'll make a float up here and I'll name that total now going back to the pro programming problem it says that we may need to use a Y integer data type. And I looked that up in Google. I looked that up in Google, and for that, it is called long, long. So whatever the user inputs, it, will, it won't be, the number won't be too big for, for it to crash. Now, I think I'll use a for loop. For loop to do this problem. I'm going to do for int x is equal to 10, then x plus plus. And inside the brackets. I'll put total equals, let's see, because that's the one we're using. I don't, we need, total is confusing, so I'm going to change this to remain. So then, because that's what we're doing, is getting the remain of it. And so we'll do remain equals input. And this will get the remainder and keep it for when we use it in the other equations. And we're gonna, to make it divisible, we're gonna need to put 10 and then we're gonna do input which is where 
what the user the number the user inputted. It's getting the number from what the user input. And we're gonna do equals input divided by eleven, which is a f not not eleven. I I think it should be ten. Um which is making it visible for to making it divisible and it keeps the division officially. And then we're gonna do input equals input minus remain. This is doing the math to whatever the input is and whatever is the remainder of the division will be. I can't forget my semicolon. And then if, we're going to have an if statement, input, and this is so, just an if statement to see if it, so it can see out if input is equal, equal, 11, because that's what we want if it's divisible by 11. C out. the number see out the number um, and we're gonna do that and then put input right here is divisible by 11. Then we're gonna end line. And we gotta make sure all our brackets are closed and now we will try running it. says we have an error right here. Error on line 13. Error expected. Error expected. And before this. Which means we did something wrong. I didn't type in. I think we should put X is greater than input. So that should work. So it's giving, taking the number and if it's greater than input. Now we're gonna run it again and it says an error before x. Hmm. I think we should try adding a semicolon and see what that does. Okay, so it works. Now we're going to go back to the problem and input the number. Um, one six, one four. And put it, have it right here so we can input it. One six, one four, oh eight, one nine six, one eight zero. The number 4 is divisible by 11, which that is not what we want. We want the output to look like this. As you can see, it keeps going, it breaks it down, and it's not breaking it down for us the way we have it arranged. So we need to figure out how to do that. So, we're going to exit out of here. So, maybe if 
we set the float. equal to the number that is in the input. Let's set that equal to one six one four zero eight too many one nine six one eight zero and see if that will produce the output of the desired on the programming part. And we can erase this. The number we should input 161408 one nine six one eight zero and that's gonna if inputs equal to eleven it's going to print out on the screen this and let's see what happens it's still not doing it so we have an error somewhere We didn't declare that there was a, there was gonna be a new number, and just in case that new number isn't big, we should add we should put long long int new num and see what that does. Still not working. We're doing something that isn't inputting and outputting it the way we want it, the way it should. Now I think our problem is is that we're not see outing and printing on the screen how it got to there. So what we're gonna do is right here before the if see out input and in line and see if that works and if we look at this and compare it to the programming problem that is what we get so that is how you do Divide by 11.